life. Is it that when I was when I was doing that life insurance thing? Yeah. I wasn't in the truth, but I was like searching for answers. Yeah. Because well, right now the Lord is using his word to gather his elect out of the, out of the children of Israel, out of the 12 tribes of Israel. 
and I was watching the video earlier. I didn't do the lesson on it, but uh, I know I heard about it via the, uh, the live school teaching yesterday. And he had mentioned how Dino Jenkins tried to break down Revelation 7. Matter of fact, let's start at there. Let's start at Revelation 7 and 1. Because Gino Jenkins is so called pastor, he broke the scripture down completely wrong. We're going to read 1 through 9. He broke the scripture down completely wrong. He had no understanding. He claims that Revelation 7 and 9 is talking when he talks Revelation 7 and 9 is talking about the so-called body of Christ. The, the believers, the church of the believers. Which that's not that's not the case at all. Okay, and that's actually why I wanted well that's the spirit had me start at uh Ezekiel 37 21. Start at Ezekiel 37 21 and we're gonna read the uh, Revelation uh, 7 and 1 through 9 about the chapter. Because uh, these pastors and these preachers, they don't have the proper understanding of breakdown. But just because you're charismatic, just because you can draw people in with your with your, with your, your mouth, doesn't mean that you are sanctioned and ordained by your Abashin al to break these scriptures down, man. Okay, the children of Israel, these people that you see on the here, we're scattered amongst all nations on the earth, man. Okay, if you got Israelites amongst these different nations that actually look like these other nations, man. You know, uh, uh, a good example is Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was one of our people, man. You know, when they actually got a dude in Afghanistan, they call him the Afghanistan Bruce Lee. He's one of our people, man. You got Israelites scattered amongst these nations that look like these other nations. Justin Timberlake, he's an Israelite. Justin Bieber, he's an Israelite. And Jake would get upset because you might have heard him say some racist shit. Or they, they grew up looking like Edomites. What you think? You know what I mean? But they're, they're, they're kindred. Their spirit is kindred with our spirit, man. And the scripture says the spirit is self bear witness with our spirit that we are the sons of the living God. The living God, all right. So you, you can't just look at somebody out of appearance and say assume that they are part of another nation. Man. You got to try the spirit, man. Yeah. Uh, the book of Ezekiel 37 and 21 says, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will take the sons of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them unto every side. And will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. Is that right? The Heavenly Father sent them that He's going to gather the children of Israel from amongst all the corners of the earth, man, from everywhere. Because the Scripture said that we were scattered amongst the heathens. You know, so He's going to gather us by the word from all places upon the earth. You know, and it says, and bring them into their own land. And when is He going to do that? When He sends you. Deliver his elect from the destruction that's coming, you know. And like you know, you were going into Gino Jenkins, or uh, and a lot of these other Christian pastors, they believe that 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 uh, salvation is going to be a, a group of just people from all nations, which is wrong. So called Christians, and that's not it. Christianity, as you know it, and as you've been brought up in this world to know, is not the truth of the Bible. That's a man made doctrine, okay, that was used to get people to follow. First and foremost, Catholicism. That's why Catholicism preaches a universal doctrine. All its, all its children, which are these different Christian denominations, they preach the same thing. And then you got spinoffs like Jehovah's Witness. You got Mormonism. That shit is nothing more than a spinoff from Catholicism. And it's nothing but white supremacy. You know? It's not the truth. Okay? And, and these pastors, especially the so-called black pastors like Geno Jennings, this guy, he, he, he preaches to Jake, so Jake, Jake will just go off, man. You don't gotta learn, you don't gotta come back to the laws and the commandments according to Christianity. You don't gotta uh, follow the, the ways of, of the Bible according to Christianity. You don't gotta call on the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, according to Christianity, man. You call on somebody named God and somebody named Jesus. And whenever you type in Jesus, whenever you look up the term Jesus, it brings you always back, it always brings you back to a so-called white man. Even if this nigga try to say, because he try to, you know, at one point he said that you know, Jesus is a black man, but that's not even that's not the Lord's name. No one ever called him Jesus when he walked on earth. Never. Not one day in his life did somebody refer to him as Jesus. You know, you might have heard in the Greek thesis, but mainly you heard Yahweh shot, man. And that was after his death. You heard thesis after his death, death and resurrection. You heard you heard those terms because of the uh, Israelites amongst the Greeks, man. Point of the matter is that with, with Christianity, that's another gospel. That's another gospel. That's not the gospel that we learn through the Alpha Shai, through the apostles, you know, such as Paul, 
Catholicism is. And when you look, when you go down to his children, these different Christian denominations, it's the same damn thing. Uh, and what the brother was speaking about, how he was taught to follow a certain way. That's called liturgy. It's called liturgy. Liturgy. Okay? Yeah, it's called liturgy. Okay? And liturgy is a form of formally according to which public religious worship, especially Christians, Worship is conducted. Church liturgy. Okay? And it says liturgy is the customary public ritual of worship. So the communion, the wake of eating, the, the purpose of juice drinking, you know, the ha Damien, that kind of shit that you singing in these churches, and you just go in there and you just all you doing is repeating an action that was taught to you. Because that's what public worship is supposed to be, according to them. When you go to when you go to the Catholic Church, they're not breaking the Bible. Don't you? They're reading it. They're reading a they're reading an Old Testament. They're reading an Apocrypha. They're reading the New Testament. But a lot of times they're reading that shit in Latin. We don't even understand that shit. That's not even a, a language that's spoken uh, um, abundantly in this earth, man. Yeah, there's always like uh, one verse, and then they'll give you like their interpretation of it. Like they never go like the scriptures say, you know, uh, line upon line. Because the, the Bible explains itself, mm -hmm. you know, but Catholicism is just, they give you one one verse and then a whole explanation written by somebody in the in that comes, you know, from the hierarchies of the, of the, of the It's an archbishop, some demon archbishop. Yeah. And it, and it, and, it, and it, the same thing that the, the brother of priest is speaking about, the same thing you do in the Christian church. They'll read one or two scriptures and then they start speaking out their heart. Yeah. When you go to these churches, you're not getting filled with uh, living water. What you're getting is a, 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 a basically like a, a what do people call it? They kind of like teach you how to live better in your life. It, it, them speakers, them yeah, uh, motivational speaking. That's what you get. You know, they'll tell you that all oh, people hate you. But that's because you're under God's anointing. That's why they hate you. you. Learn to let go, let go, and let God. They just start teaching you a bunch of weirdo shit, but they're not breaking the scriptures down in truth and in sincerity. They're not prophesying to you, okay? They're not telling you that the Lord is coming back, and when he does come back, he's going to be extremely angry. He's going to put a lot of people to death, okay? Yeah, he's going to save the elect of his nation, but a great deal of them, a great number of the people that you see walking this earth today are nothing but walking cadavers, man. They're going to be put to death in many of the most gruesomest, scary ways, man. And who's going to be doing it? The how about she have a shot? Straight up and down. They're not warning you of that. They're not teaching you to repent. In reality, what they do, when you go to Christian church, they'll go, they have you walking down the aisle and tell you to give your life to Christ. When your how say, says, ye have not chosen me, I've chosen you. You can't give your life to your how about she have a shot. Your life has to belong to your how about she have a shot by way of his father, man, who gave him to you, who gave you to him. You did it again? Ezekiel 37 and 21, uh, and saying to them, thus said the Lord, 
power, behold, I will take the sons of Israel from amongst the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And, and where does it say in the Bible that the Lord is going to scatter up the most nations? This is Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord, the Ha'abashim Abashah, shall scatter thee among all people, from one end of the earth even to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So that was a curse that was levied on the children of Israel for us to be scattered amongst the world. So here it is, the Most High, he scattered us. He's going to bring us back from out of these, these different nations. And how is he going to draw us out of these different nations? Through his word, man. Okay? Through his word. So the Israelites that look like the other nations, they'll hear this word and they'll, they'll cling on to it. And you see that a lot. You got you look, you go to the Philippines, man. You got Israelite brothers and sisters in, in the Philippines worshiping Yahweh Bashi Yahushai by name. You got them out there on the highways and hedges. You got, they got their own church congregations, they're doing it. Right? And that, where did they learn that from? Some other Filipino? No, they heard the apostles and the elders, and they, they heard the word, and it, it, it brings with their spirit, man. So what do they do? They end up um, uh, following after the land. Because it was given unto them to do it. Why? Because they're Israelites, man. They just look like the other nations. Okay? They just look like the other nations. But they're not, they're not, uh, they're not the heathen that they live amongst, man. And when they were among, when we were amongst these heathens, what were we doing? We were worshiping gods that we didn't know in the ancient world, man. No one knew Jesus Christ in the ancient world. A man named Jesus Christ, a white dude, named, a so-called white dude named Jesus Christ. Nobody knew that cat. That number but Serapis Christian. If you would have showed them a picture of what you see today of the one you call, if, if you call Jesus Christ, you, uh, uh um, uh, um, if you show them a picture of the one you, you call Jesus Christ, the so-called white man, they would be like, oh, that's Serapis Christus right there. That ain't the house of Nazareth, who was born in Bethlehem. That's not the guy. He's the Indian, you know, even this one. Niggas start speaking Arabic way better than an Arab, man. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Like I, I grew up in Philadelphia, and that's that's the, that's customary. Being a Muslim, everybody's a fucking Muslim, bro. Like literally, everybody a Muslim. It's like you be hard pressed to find a Christian amongst these niggas, man. That's how that's how heavy that Islam shit is. And what does it do? It puts a spirit on our people that's not the spirit of the Lord, so that they can do what? Add sin to sin. As per Isaiah 30 on one says, man. Because when you look at these different religions, like the brother Bench and Christianity, how they don't follow the law to the commandments, right? Because it allows them to add sin to sin. You can go to church today, today's a so-called Sunday. You can go to church on a so-called Sunday, and I guarantee you the vast majority of the people left that church and fired up the, the, the oven and heated up some fucking summer ham, some Sunday ham, or ate some shrimp, or ate some, some more abominations, right? Or I bet. A lot of people left that church and committed adultery. Fucking somebody else's wife, the pastor. Fucking on somebody's wife. I just saw a video recently. A, a, a so-called African pastor was hitting some dude's wife in the back. And, and he, he walked in and caught them niggas. She was butt-ass naked. This nigga was slapping up on the back, man. And she was pregnant. She was like nine months, almost nine months pregnant, man. In this man's house, man. Commitment, and he's a fucking pastor. I saw a, a video the other day, I think I might have saved it. This dude, uh, he goes in, this was, was a show called Black Jesus, right? And the dude, Charlie Murphy, goes into the office to speak to the pastor. And he wanted to repent, basically he wanted to repent to the pastor. And I think he said he stole something, something like that. The pastor said, oh man, I thought you were gonna say, you killed somebody, man. I thought you get your ass up out of here and call the cops on you, man. He said, hey man, he said he sins all the time. He says, he says, hey man, you know how I pay for my sins, man? I paid for it. $250 for, uh, uh, for this, $500 for that. And he said, well, what do you pay? I pay myself. He said, you know what? You're going to pay me too. And he went in his wallet and gave him money. He said, so keep on sinning, man. He said, that's what he told him. And that's the kind of mentality that these, he was, the dude was playing a character, but that's 
That's, that shit really happens, man. He said, I, I remember going to a pastor in the world trying to get some fucking marriage and counsel and shit, man. This nigga would just sit on the couch like, oh, you know, you got this. I was like, what kind of fucking advice is this? Like, this nigga, like, we sitting here thinking that these niggas are godly men. And they're not. Man. They're fucking demons, man. So how can you expect a man like this, a man like that, to break down the scriptures and truth to you, man? And a lot of times, these pastors and these preachers, they tell you what you want to hear. You know, there's this woman at my job. She asked me a question about Christmas. And I said, you know, like, hey, uh, she's talking about she couldn't afford it. She said, well, you know, you know, you know it's supposed to be celebrating that shit anyway. You know that's going to happen, right? She's like, really? I was like, yeah, Jeremiah 10, 1 and 2. And I read it to her. She's like, hey, man, that is Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. One cut up a tree out of the woods and they deck it. And they fasten it. Yeah, it was golden. As soon as I said golden silver, she's like, oh, man, that's, that's, that's really in there? I'm like, yeah. You know, a lot. Of, she was like, cause she was saying that Christmas, people gotta learn to celebrate Christmas the right way. Yeah. Cause everybody, when Christmas comes around, everybody wants presents, especially these kids, man. And she was saying that how like people need to go into the Bible and read it. I was like, well, you know, they didn't celebrate Christmas in an ancient man. Well, they celebrated it, but they went not I said, I said, it's an idol. I said, it's an idol. I said, it's an memorized ride, man. That's the that, that's the shit they're to. She was like, she was like stunned. And then she just, she said, yeah, a lot of people don't read the Bible. They go to church and do nothing with the Bible. Because when you start to read the scripture for truth and understand it, you realize that it condemns the way you turn it to their own land and I will make them one nation with the land upon the mountains of Israel and one king shall so like and one king shall be king to them all and they shall be no more two nations neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms and when you see this sign how can you see this sign just, just, just bring them back to this point oh man I see what's up here you realize that Starting with the elect. Okay? And it's obvious that we want people because hey, they're the ones that's being mostly oppressed by the devil, man. We would have been all the oppression that we that, none of the oppression that we received was a, a, a singular thing or a singular act. We all experienced that oppression from slavery to, 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 uh, uh, to destruction to genocide to, uh, to uh, 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 continuous oppression. All the 12 tribes have faced that, man. It's just that the, the tribe of Judah, so-called African-American, American Negro, suffered it the worst. You know, but guess what? We all suffered it, man. Okay, and the reason why Judah suffered it so hard is because we're the top tribe of Israel, man. But all the tribes are going to be kings. All the tribes are going to be priests, man. The men of the, the, men of the tribe. Even you two-thirds Jakes that don't want to believe this word, guess what? You're going to die on this side, but you're going to come back in the kingdom of heaven as a king and a priest, man. Or a priest and a king. Damn right. Because that's the role that we're supposed to play. And the Lord, the Lord said, well, we wasn't going to be no more two. We didn't be no more. He said, hey, we're going to be different nations. And do get uh, Amos 9 and 8. Here we're going to read Revelation 7. Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. Yes, so that the least rain fall upon. 
about the earth. Right. So the Lord said he's going to, uh, this the, the house of Israel among all nations. Yeah, he's going to, and how is he sifting the, how is he the, the house of Israel amongst all nations? By his word, man. He's sifting us, sifting the nation, sifting the nation of Israel through his word, bringing in the good as well as the bad. And the bad falls through, and the good is going to be kept. and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the thrones and before the land clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. First of all, those white robes, their palms represent peace. As a symbol of peace, those white robes is the righteousness, right? And it, out of every kindred and out of every tongue, these are the Israelites that were scattered amongst these other nations. This is not talking about the body of believing in Christ. No, it's talking about the Israelites that are scattered amongst these different nations. Right, you got the 144,000 uh, men, the prophets, out of the 12 tribes of Israel. But you also had the mixed multitude of Israelites amongst these different nations, man, that both look like so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, as well as look like the other nations, man, who's also gathered by the word through the righteousness of the Lord, man, of the Lord, man. It's not talking about the bodies of believers in Christ, because he, we gonna start at uh, seven and one. And this guy said that this is talking about the flesh Israelites. Those Israelites. Well, wait a minute, Gino. Who are the flesh Israelites? Then? Who the twelve? Who the twelve thousand from each of the twelve tribes of Israel? They ain't talking about the Jewish people, because that's all they talking about—the Jewish people, the Jewish nation. When they talking about and referring to the scripture about the scriptures in the future in a prophetic sense, they always talking about the Jewish people. But what about the rest of the twelve tribes? Man? What about Zebulun, Naphtali, Issachar, Gad, Reuben, okay, Manasseh? Ephraim, Simeon, Levi, Benjamin, Judah. What about all the tribes, man? You know, they, they, they always talking about one tribe, one group, one, tribe, one group of people, but they never talk about 12 tribes. And we talking about 12 tribes. We're out here with the sign. Where are these, these Amalekites, small ass, with a sign? I ain't never seen no Amalekite outside with the sign talking, gathering people. Where are they prophets at, man? They always talking about a Rabboni, a rabbi. You always hear these rabbis, you see niggas draped in black. Looking like he's going to a funeral. All right? They never play. He's not a prophet. These so-called teachers of the Talmud, the Zohar, and the Torah, or the Tanakh. And when you hear these people talk, it's nothing but searching the teachers. They talk, they talk in circles, man. And these people, these people, these people, these people, these people of high level of understanding, man. But in reality, they're nothing but a bunch of frauds, witches, and warlocks, man. That's what them people are, man. And they running around here claiming that they're the Lord's people, man. They even got the vast majority of their people fucking thinking that they're the Lord's people. But guess what? You do have the Lord's people amongst them. You got Israelites that look like straight up Amalekites, man. Straight up and down, man. But guess what? Not all of Am Amalek is our people, or those people that are amongst Amalek are our are, are people, man. You guys got the natural Amaleks and Edomites, and you got the Israelites amongst them, man. Shit, you got natural Israelites 
converting to Judaism, man. And they're in that shit neck deep. You know? So let's start at Revelation 7 and 1. Revelation 7 and 1, it says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Now, is it talking about the natural wind like you see blowing out here? No. It's talking about the winds of destruction, man. The Lord ain't bringing that destruction yet until uh, until, uh, until the elect are sealed. All of the elect are sealed. Right. Okay? And you, you still going to have Jake being sealed at the 11th hour, meaning at the very end, but guess what? The vast majority of the elect is going to, those, those, 12,000 men from each of the 12 tribes of Israel will be already sealed because it starts with them first, right? And then you're gonna have the believers, and you have men of the Lord giving spiritual powers to heal, and we're gonna heal some of the sick of our people, and they that look like us and that look like the other nation, and people are gonna be swayed to follow, and they're gonna be turning, they're not gonna follow us, they're gonna follow you. How about Shinawa Shah? Because all that healing is going to be done in the name of Yahweh by Shah. You're going to have men of the Lord who endowed with powers saving people's lives, man. It might be one of the elect might be about to get pummeled and smashed or raped by a, a, a gang of monster niggas or Edomites. And then the brother come through and save them, kill all, kill all the motherfuckers, put them all to death, and save that man or that woman or them children. What you think going to happen, man? Hey, let me follow you. Hey, how'd you do that, hey? Through the spirit of power, your Shah was shot. Because the first thing they're gonna say is, hey man, this it ain't me, it's your how about Shah was shot. Well, thank you, your how about Shah was shot. And then them brothers and sisters gonna believe, man. And they're gonna be converted instantly, right then and there. Yeah, like the say, um, that people uh, shall be willing to bear that power. Well, when it, which shall they be willing? Willing to hear the, the word of the Lord, willing to believe, willing to have faith. Because hey, some people wouldn't take that. You know, hey, it takes special men to be to have that level of faith and not have seen anything. There's a scripture in Second Edges. I think you should bring it up. It might be Second Edges one or one. Oh yeah. Or, or not having seen, but yet believe, man. So you gonna have you got them men, and then you also got the people who have to take for them to see it to believe. Man. Yeah, like the apostle. Timothy, Timothy, Timothy. Uh, not, uh, not Timothy, uh, not Timothy, uh, um, I want to call him, I want to call him Thaddeus, his name is not Thaddeus, his name was called, uh, his name, what was his name, uh, it began with a T though, I forget the brother's name, man. I want to call him, uh, oh, Doubting, Doubting Tim, I think his name was Doubting, Doubting, uh, Thomas, Thomas, it was Thomas, it was Thomas, where you get the term Jordan Thomas from. Oh yeah, Thomas. Yeah, it's Thomas. Yeah, he he mm -hmm. unlike he mind you, he, he walked with the, the rest of the apostles. He he had spiritual powers to a point. But when he wasn't there when Yahweh Shah was sitting there supping with him physically, he had just came in. He was like, yo, they tell him like, yo, man, Yahweh Shah came back. My Lord came back, man. He was with him. And they're like, nah, man, I ain't gonna believe it. Until I until I took this touch a, a hole in where he was pierced or fill the holes in his hands, man. Then he was gonna believe. And then what, Yahweh Shai showed himself. Yeah. And, he, and, he, and he did it. And then he believed, but the Lord told him, hey man, blessed are those that, that believe and have not seen yet. And have, have not seen. Because that take a lot of faith, man. You know? Wait, <clears throat> this is uh, 2nd Ezra 1 and 37. It says that people to come these little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the things that I say. Yeah, that's right. And that's what we that's what we are. We're 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 examples of that, man. And that's the reason why we come outside. This is the reason why we do what we do, week in and week out, man. Hey, we live in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, man. Ain't nobody holding a gun to our head. Y'all better go out there and do that. No, it's the fear of the Lord that drives us to do. What we doing? Week in and week out. We've been together for almost five years. We can name on the top of our hand, one hand, maybe two. How many people actually gathered to hear this word, man? So it's like we just prophesying to the wind. And that's okay. 
because right now most of our audience is on a, online. And even that was so the yeah. word prophesied unto the wind. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. This this word got to come out. You know, I, I was doing a quick lesson. You know, on uh, you know, IUIC one out there to the Barclays Stadium. Yeah. But they wasn't doing nothing. They were just chanting in, in the name of Christ. Mm -hmm. But they weren't they weren't out there, you know, preaching the word of, of Yahweh Shimei man. That's right. Which is the, the, the main thing that the, the prophets of the Lord should be doing. Yeah, edifying, did. bringing edification and understanding to our people, man. Because this that's the only thing we need. Yep. You know, we need the, the true understanding of the word of Yahweh Shimei man. Yeah. Through the Spirit... Lord gave it to the apostles out the second and all the brothers out there, man. Make sure it's the other, you know. Everybody else teaching, you know, a doctrine separate from that is just doing it for, you know, filthy lucre say, for, for glory, for whatever reason, man. But they're not doing it in, in truth and in sincerity. Yeah, and that shit is nothing more than a, a, a recruitment tool. Yeah, you see hundreds right. of thousands of niggas walking up and down a block looking like uh, uh, through the Islam and shit. And, and <laughs> marching back and forth, all this shit, and then you you automatically attracted to that. You see the purple, everybody in uniform. And these niggas ain't doing shit but standing there doing nothing, man. You got all them men, all them men that was out there. And how many videos these niggas put up a week, man? How many times these dudes go out and prophesy and preach in the name of how about she was shot, man? It, and it's getting kind of cold over there. So I know you ain't gonna be used to seeing them dudes out there. But wait a minute, they'll go out there. As if they, for, for some book, for some fucking publicity, man. Like Kyrie Irving sent these niggas out here. Because you know they question this nigga like, yo, you know, thousands of niggas outside talking about they there for you. I don't know them niggas. Yeah. He already did. He just did a, another apology video, man. Apologizing to the j Bruce, man. To them J's, man. He ain't apologizing to you Jakes, man. For misleading you by sending you to that nigga's video uh, from Hebrews and Negroes. With that, that ball of fucking confusion man it's crazy because a long time ago i ordered some books off of amazon that shit was in there yeah, yeah, yeah. i got that i ain't never read it man i was like it's just sitting there never had it. yeah it's been up at me like open that shit up and read it i was gonna buy it too yeah i looked at that shit i was like what the fuck i was like i'm, I'm ready to burn and throw it but i was thinking like well maybe let me go through it and see what this nigga talking about and it's so fucking big he's like man ain't reading it's like a fucking telephone book of nonsense man and, it, and, it, and like really it's just a whole bunch of nonsensical information man because it ain't the truth all that going back to african shit that shit is dead man ain't nobody trying to africans ain't even trying to go back to africa nigga if they had if they had an opportunity to come come from africa over here they'd be on a first fucking um canoe over this motherfucker man and it was like oh, oh if you african come on over to america man we'll, we'll let you in for free hey them, them borders will be packed man and don't, don't nobody want to go to Africa, man. Africa is whack, man. Like, like, like that nigga, uh, Brother Almighty said, man, I am a Greek. And you was, I don't play that African shit. You can take that African mumbo jumbo with you, man. He said, he said, you don't know a goddamn thing about Africa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's right, you Jakes don't know a goddamn thing about Africa, man. They send your ass there the day or tomorrow, you wouldn't know which way is left or right. Well, you don't know the customs. You don't know the... Lions and tigers in the middle of fucking camp and shit. Like, where the lions and tigers at? You in a whole filthy ass city, man. That's a third world fucking continent, man. That's what Africa is, man. A third world continent, man. That's why that dude, uh, Ronald Dalton Jr., he's in South Africa. Nigga ain't taking his ass to Lagos. You ain't go to Lagos, nigga. You ain't go to, uh, you ain't go to fucking Sierra Leone. You ain't go to the, uh, the Congo. You ain't go to that shit. Why you ain't go there? If, if Africa is the fucking motherland, it's the oasis, then that's bullshit. It's not. Ain't shit. I don't ever want to go to Africa, bro. Unless we taking it over, man. I don't want to go there. It's nothing in Africa for me, man. I have no connection, spiritual or physical connection to that place, man. Even though you got Israelites over there. Because Af I'm an African. I'm an Israelite, man. I got more in common with Mesopotamia than I do fucking Africa. I'll go to Mesopotamia again. Before I go to fucking Africa, bro. I ain't never been. I don't want no. I don't want no parts of Africa. Africa, nigga. No, ain't no fucking. Ain't the motherland. No, it ain't. Jerusalem is our motherland. Israel is our motherland. That's right. You know. But Jake got the affinity for Africa because that's what taught to you your whole life. When you was coming up in school, when you was going to college, when you was sitting at home in a computer and you listened to all these so-called pan-African niggas. 
kick this bullshit dream to you, man. You got an infinity with a sandbox called Egypt. They don't even want your black ass over there, man. You got affinity with Africa. Some niggas don't even want your ass over there. You know how I know? Because they ain't come and get your ass when they threw you. You got thrown head first and kept it. As big as that country is, you'd have thought that well, maybe these niggas are not up a force. You know, I know they got more than enough niggas over there. I know they got more than enough fucking you bangy niggas over there. Somali niggas. If everybody, because niggas think they have a romantic side view of Africa. Like, motherfuckers is all together over there. Nigga. Ain't no book conflict over there, bro. That shit was like Iraq in 2003, nigga. Straight up. things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor the sea nor any tree and I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power yeah what is the seal of the living power the name of the heavenly father and his son the how about that 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 having that seal that pardon go ahead it says and he cried and So the judgment can't come until these men are saved, saved in their foreheads, man. Sealed in their foreheads, man. And that's how we got it, because our spirit lies in our forehead, man. All right? And there's nothing that we did of our own. This is predestined. Predestinated, man. This is before we even got here. We was in the world living how we was living until we heard the voice of the Lamb through his prophets, man. And it was like, oh, man. And then we heard and we believed. And we receive. Keep reading. And verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of the sons of Israel. Right, and now it's about to go down the list. Okay, and you don't hear Dan in there because Dan was assimilated. We'll find out what happened to Dan in the kingdom of heaven, which Dan is amongst all the nations. Uh, not all the nations, all the tribes of Israel. Okay? He's still amongst the tribe, but he don't hold no inheritance amongst uh, Israel in this, okay? And you're also going to hear Joseph, who's also interchangeable with Ephraim. Let's keep, let's read. Uh, verse 5 says, the tribe of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. The so-called American Negroes, you're the tribe of Judah. So 12,000 prophets are going to come out of the uh, tribe of Judah. Go ahead. Uh, of the tribe of 
Reuben were sealed 12,000. Tribe of Reuben would be the so-called Seminole Indians, man. 12,000 of you brothers out of the tribe of Reuben, you're the 12,000 12, prophets out of, out of that tribe. thousand you brothers who are prophets out of them you're going to be called out of them go ahead uh, of the tribe of asher were sealed twelve thousand you so-called colombians so uh uh Uruguay. Twelve thousand you brothers this one this brother he's lord willing he's up one of them numbers of the tribe of asher man. hey i'm from the tribe of judah lord willing i'm of that number of the tribe of judah go ahead so-called Chileans, so-called Argentinians, the Chileans, man. 12,000 brothers are coming out of them. Lord of all lords, king of all kings, okay, he's coming too, but 
out here, man. And the Yahweh Bashem Shah is getting our mind and our spirit together, ready, prepared for this onslaught that's coming. And he's going to protect us. That's right. Okay? Just like he's protecting us now. Okay? Like, when last week we was out here, a, a, a dog came up and bowed to us, man. And then he, and he got on. You know what I'm saying? Like, real tough. It might seem simple and arbitrary to regular people, but to us, that was a spiritual sign, man. And we saw a great rainbow also. about in Genesis 1. 
the Allah Ayah. And the, the hundred forty thousand, the first fruit, man. Also called the first fruit. Okay. Super women. Them children gonna be super children. Alright? And it says, it says, uh, and have put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the most high and his son. Because you can't call Yahweh and not call Yahweh shot. So to Nate, who's claiming that we don't have the name of the Lord, to anybody else outside of the great millstone and our affiliates that are talking about talking something else. You're lying because we got the name of the Lord and his son. Okay? And we believe on it through faith. And his power in those names, man. And we both witness to that. Okay? As well as you all out there in uh internet land. We're witnesses that the name of the how about Shia is actually real. And that there's power in those names, man. There's no power in the name of God, Jesus, Allah, Muhammad, Buddha. Or any of these other idols that you call on, there's no power in that shit. If it was, that crazy Mexican dude that'd be like, Jesus Christ, that nigga gonna be flying on fucking, uh, uh, yeah. flying in the air right now, man. This tattooed Mexican demon told myself, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Ain't no power in that shit. Kanye West wouldn't be getting attacked by them Amorites, man. His riches wouldn't be going away. His money wouldn't be going away. Right? Says, uh, Okay. 
okay, which is also uh, comparative to the name of the Alba Snow Shine. We're the ones that sign and cry about all the abominations that are done in the midst of our people, as well as in the midst of this earth, man. We're, we're signing and crying. Is that more going to every Israelite? Well, okay, so you read. utterly old and young. going off, man. You're going off. It's, it's going to be way more than 144,000 saved, but the 144,000 are the primary uh, uh, leaders, the prophets, man, the aristocrats, man, right. of our people. Then you got the men, women, and children, friends, family members of prophets who help the prophets throughout their lifetimes, man. Not only this lifetime, but even our people's man, who also believe on the Ha'al Bash and they're going to be covered. Yahushua said, you gave a cup of cold water to one of these priests ones, if you gave it to them. So guess what? You're going to receive the prophet of the world. Pass a couple of dollars, and it wasn't about the money. It was the fact that they showed charity. Right. They didn't have to do that. And mad people stand out there and watch you keep, man. They don't get nothing. Remember that one Jake? I don't know if it was Jake, but I believe he was like an angel or something. He went in his pocket, man. He didn't even count the money, man. He went in his pocket, went like this. He started to walk by the camp, double back, gave 300 bucks, man. It was three of us at this back then, man. We all needed it. <laughs> it came in handy for the camp, man. We ate good that night. We had a couple of dollars left over. We were able to, you know, get gas and stuff. Hey, so, hey, them men, them men and them women, they're going to be safe, man. And even those that are far off, man, they're doing the same thing for brothers all around the world, man. See, our people like to give to the wrong ones, man. They'll give to Pastor Gino Jenkins, T.D. Jakes, these people to enrich them, that enrich themselves on the poverty, off the poverty of our people, man. Right? But the true leaders, man, they just ignore it, man. You know? You got it, And uh, 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 a police said, you know, that shows that the only people that really worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah are the Israelites, man. Because, like you mentioned, you have a lot of people worshiping Christ and these other idols and. Our people uh, say that they believe in the Lord, but really they're not—they're not doing what is commanded of them, man. What what it says in the scriptures, man. And, and these 
to the heathen nations, although they so-called say that they believe in the Tanakh or they believe in the Bible, they're not doing it according to the scripture, showing you that they're not the people of the Lord, man. You know, there's only one people that the Lord showed his ways unto, man, and that's the Israelites. You know, and, and now you're seeing who truly is following after the Lord, man. You know, starting off with the apostles, the elders, that great Milso, man, and all the brothers on down. Ain't nobody followed after, you know, the word of the Heavenly Father like we have, man. You know? And, and we say it, you know, humbly, because it's not about us doing it. It's just that the Lord put it, put it in our spirits to do so, man. You know? But to show, <laughs> like the scriptures say, an end sign, man. This is uh, Second Edges 3 and verse, I'll start at verse 33. So I got verse 34. It says, Wait now, therefore, wickedness now in the valleys, and there's also that dwell in the world, and so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not said that thy For what people? That all these other heathen nations throughout history, they've had power over, you know, and they've never followed after the ways of Yahweh and Shah. They always had their idols. They always, you know, worshipped uh, uh, their gods and, and made, especially Esau, made all the other nations. salvation hopeful from the hills and from the multitude of mountains truly in the Lord Yahweh by Shimei our God is salvation of Israel of Edom of Israel of Moab of Israel truly is salvation of Israel man this is the reason why these other nations want to be so bad because they, they believe that they can trick the most high because they're in that lane but if they're claiming some type of allegiance to the people who are He have visited and redeemed his people, man. And there's another reason why these heathen nations want to keep us in a, a, a state of deception. Not only oppression, but they want to keep us deceived, man. They don't want us to be the elect of our nation. They don't want us to be Israelites. They don't want us to be part of the 12 tribes. This is the reason why Amalek is making such a big stink right now. It was all good when we were calling ourselves African. It was all good when we were calling ourselves Latino, Hispanic, Native Indians. They had no problem with that. They kept oppressing us, but they, they didn't they didn't interrupt us and in saying that this is who we were and are. But as soon as we try to hold tight to the Bible and, and claim the national heritage of the Israelites, now they got a problem. Now that's an issue. See, you can be you can be a so-called Negro Latino Native American, and you can go be a Muslim, you can be a Christian. Shit, you can get into these other religions of the world, and, and they'll they'll they're cool with that. As soon as you try to touch uh, the Jays. Then it's a problem. It's an issue. Because y'all want to only be, y'all want to benefit twofold. You want to benefit from the, the trappings of this world, but you also want to benefit 
with a biblical nationality? Why is it that the Jays are the only people on the planet Earth that are allowed to have a biblical nationality? Why nobody else? Wait a minute. If you're the Jewish people, if you're the Jews of the Bible, if you're the Jews of antiquity, if you're the if you if you go back to the Israelites of antiquity, then who are the other nations that are around about you? You'll mention uh, the Arabs, Israel. Well, wait, if Israel is here. If, 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 if Jays are here. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, he, uh, the Kush is here. The Ethiopians. Then who are everybody else, man? Where do we fit in in, in that? And I'll tell you where we fit in. We are the actual Israelites, man. Whether you like it or not, man. Whether you believe or not. Romans 3 and 3. It don't make the Lord no never mind. Because, first and foremost, this word ain't even for all Israel. They can, they can hear it. But ultimately, the ones that's going to uh, benefit and accept it is the elect of Israel. The Israel of the Most High. There's two Israels. There's the Israel of the Most High, and there's the Israel of the world. Where can we back that up at? Before you get that, get Romans uh, 9 and um, Romans nine and 6. Uh, Romans chapter 9 and verse 6. Uh, not as though the word of the Heavenly Father hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. There it is. Because <clears throat> the, the Lord's the word is going to take effect. But just because you're an Israelite doesn't mean that you're going to be saved, man. First of all, you got to be the elect of Israel, man. That's right. Israel is an elect nation, but then you have the elect within the elect. You got to be the elect of the Most High, Yahweh of, of Yahweh Shimon Rishon. That's that's who the Lord looks at as Israel, the true Israelites man, on this side. Because two thirds of our people, yeah, they Israelites, but they totally given into the world, man. They totally given into the world. If you bring up as pertaining to salvation, repentance, wisdom and knowledge, understanding of Yahweh Bashim Shai, the average Israelite is not trying to hear it, man. One, because they don't have no faith, they don't have belief, but two, because the Most High haven't waked them up, woken them up to it. Okay? Truth says in Romans 11 and 7, what then Israel have not attained that which he's seeking for, but the elect have obtained it in a restful blinded. And these other Israelite groups, they're not speaking about the elect. IUIC, they don't speak about the elect. ISUPK, they don't speak about the elect. GOCC, uh, you name it. The only ones that are speaking about the elect is Great Millstone and our affiliates, man. That's the only one. We're the only ones, man. We're not out here trying to save the nation. We ain't out here mobilizing every every GMS group, GMS camp, and going marching for some nigga named Kyrie Irving. We don't give a damn about Kyrie Irving, man. If Kyrie Irving want to know the truth, he need to come get with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Why? Because they have the 100% truth. If you want to support somebody, you need to support the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Why? Because they got the 100% truth, and they're giving it to you for free. We ain't, telling, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't making you pay nothing. We ain't asking you to come out and hold the sign. Just listen. But Kyrie, just like the rest of them niggas in that industry, they want the money. They want the fame. They want the glory. They want everything that comes with that. That's why this nigga is begging them Jays to, to get back in their good places, man. You know, he gave them 500 stacks. 500 stacks. Then he, then he, then he, uh, he gave him a public apology that wasn't good enough. Now the nigga just gave a new apology today. And now Kyrie Irving is just becoming a, you know, that 15 minutes of, of, of notoriety is starting to wane. Anybody believe? that shit in the news like that man now this nigga dave Chappelle is a he's on a chopping block now every time one of you niggas open your mouth against these j boos you further prove <laughs> kunye west's point man these people run the world you cannot speak against them if you do the, the magical adl is gonna come down against you man that's right <laughs> um you know yeah them niggas, them niggas got power sloppy though yeah, I'm about to say, uh, Romans, what's that? Romans 3 and 3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of our God without effect? The Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Read it in LT. <clears throat> And, um, Romans 3 and 3 in the NLT True Some of them were unfaithful But just because they are They were unfaithful does not mean The most high will be un, 
unfaithful? <clears throat> of course not. Even if everyone else is a liar, the most high is true. Yeah, it is. So just because two thirds <laughs> of our people are unfaithful, it doesn't make the words of the heavenly father uh, null and void. It doesn't, it doesn't take away from the truth of these words, man. Or the power of the truth. Because at the end, the most high is true. The most high is righteous. He can't lie. He cannot lie. He's, he, he, and he doesn't break his word. If the most high say something, it's going to happen. If he say two thirds of our people going to die, guess what? They're going to go. They got to go. We, it ain't up for us to debate with the Heavenly Father and His Son about it. It ain't up for us to jump in, and jump in front of that way of rap. No. It's up for us to seek out how, how the righteous going to be saved, man. If we know that the two thirds of our people going to be destroyed, then can you please tell me how the righteous going to be saved so Lord willing we can be saved? Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this is about. This is not about a gathering of the masses, man. You don't know who you're getting when you do that kind of stuff. When you just grab Jake from the from the masses. You might get a, a fucking agent. You might get a bug, a total bug out. You might just get a, 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 a narcissist. Or just a demon. Right? And that's all you're getting. And then I, and I seen that video that you did the lesson on. Well, I didn't see the, the video that you did the lesson on. I saw the video, the video of IUIC marching at the Barclay Center. I seen that same exact video prior to coming to camp. And the first thing I thought to myself, these guys are opportunists, man. Soon as some, some shit is an opportunity to show face and number, here come these niggas, man. Jake get mowed down and shot by the cops, these niggas across the street claiming that they prophesying to the people. Jake come back from a five game suspension because all that nigga want to do is play. And his, and his new, Kyrie Irving's new apology video, he said all he wants to do is play, man. He want to go back to the team. He said him and his family been at home going through it, man. Because all he want to do is play game. All he want to do is play the game that he loves, man, which is basketball. And earn them fucking millions of dollars, man. He don't want to be uh, working a nine to five, sweeping, contracting, measuring wood and shit. He don't want to be begging hand and foot. He want to play. He want to dunk that ball for about an hour and a half. And, and, and go home with them checks, man. Because his bills got to be paid. His lifestyle got to be maintained. Get a loop uh, 6 and 26, Baba Bishop. His lifestyle has to be maintained. So this man, that's why the scripture says, it's a hard thing for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not that he won't be there. It's just that it's hard for this man to give up what he has in this world and turn and serve the Lord and be poor. Even Apostle Gabbard did a lesson like last week said that. He said, really, in, in order to be in this truth, you got to be poor. And poor don't mean I'm digging out the ground, digging out the garbage, and I'm, I'm eating out the trash and shit like that, and I'm living a life of a beggar. No. You li we literally li live day to day. We were, me and a brother, right before we started camp, we were talking about how we try to get stuff, and we can't get it. We try to get certain credit, we can't get it. We try to save money, can't fucking save it. You know what I'm saying? We live in... Check the check. Everybody around us need. So do we. You know what I'm saying? You think Kyrie Irving going to try to live like that? No, the nigga sold out so he wouldn't have to live like that. LeBron James, another one, he sold out so he wouldn't have to live as a thug or a bum and somewhere in Akron, Ohio, being a nobody. Playing ball. Trying to play ball. You know? So them kind of guys, them kind of guys, are. it's really hard for them to be persuaded. Some will, but it ain't going to be Kyrie Irving. Not on this side. I don't see it. He's doing everything the Amalekites want him to do, man. Uh, Luke 6 and 26. But uh, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. Yeah, because because that's what's going on with Kyrie Irving. See, what Nate is trying to do, he's trying to persuade Kyrie Irving to follow him so he can become a rich disciple. Yeah. And get that man some better. He had the same conversation with Kendrick Lamar. I don't, I'm not sure if it was Duck. I think it was Duck Ruff trying to sue this nigga, man. He tried to sue him for some money that I'm sure he ain't had. But, you know, that's what y'all want. You sit across these people so you become their niggas trying to be a spiritual advisor, man. Yeah, like yeah, Brother yeah. Baba Tunde off of CB4, man. Yeah, that's why they were like, they were out there chanting in the name of Christ. Yeah. To just be a, just a Baba 1C3 uh, compliant. Yeah, you know? They were out there 
Run. They was out here jogging, saying, calling cadence and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and what is the, they lead their cadence with Christ? Another reason why they do that shit is because Christ is a name that Jake in the world can easily identify with. These Jake ain't identifying with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So they, these niggas say Christ, that'll get them in. That'll bring them in. Had these niggas come in, sell them a $35 shirt. These niggas gotta pay twice the tithes. They got to get them black boots, them fucking black cargo pants. And they got to get them shirts with the fringes on it. And they got to go out there and march and be another body for Nate to make money off. That's all it fucking is, man. It's a goddamn money grab, man. You can't see that these niggas are, are about their bellies and not your high shine. What the fuck wrong with you, man? Like I said, when I saw that video, I was like, opportunity. Nigga, they was out there like two weeks ago with uh, uh, Paul Kersey, a.k.a. Deacon Ayatun. Out there, this nigga's on a microphone, talking shit, talking on a, talking all in the, all in the fucking camera. You know what I'm saying? Talking about we here to, to, to hold up our brother Kyrie Irving. Well, there's a lot of brothers out there that need to be held the fuck up. Why you ain't out there doing that for them? Because that nigga's rich. He got a name. Now you give this nigga, he got fame. Now you give him a, 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 a false army. Them niggas ain't no fucking army, man. When this thing go down, I mean, you think. A thousand IUIC troops gonna show up on the borders and, and, and protect you like Wakanda, nigga? I guess they the border tribe, nigga. And, and, and fucking uh, ISUBK, them niggas are, uh, what's some niggas, uh, Mbaku's people? The Jabari. Oh, the Jabari. I think them niggas are the, the Jabari. You know what I'm saying? Straight up gorillas, man. Straight up animals, man. You know? No, them niggas are not gonna show up and, and do shit, man. You trying to go this nigga in to support you, and he's not gonna support them niggas. Cause if, once he start go, once he go purple and gold, man, now yeah, they really gonna be on his ass, man. It's over for this nigga, man. Oh, you definitely an anti semite Cause according to the SBLC, IUIC, even us, even Great Millstone, they got a label as a, a, a some type of hate group, some type of a, a general hate group. Shit, there's only two of us here, bro. They got art. They got a news article. I still ain't seen it to you. Yeah, I'm not they got, they got a news article about us, <laughs> and they got motherfucking, they got us on the SBLC, the SBLC. We ain't even do shit, bro. All we do is go out here and preach the word of your Yahweh Shema and Shai, and the and and truth. And they call us a hate group. You know? How, how, do we, how do we hate? We tell them the truth, bro. All we doing is telling the truth, man. We ain't hurt nobody. We ain't offending nobody. Hey, one of them goofy politely in a roundabout way. Ask us not to be on a curve because people walk back and forth. And we moved. He was cool with it. We were beautiful like to him. We didn't disrespect him, laugh in front of him, you know, whatever. Kept it polite and cordial. So what are we doing as wrong? All we doing is telling you the truth, according to the Bible. Uh, Luke 6 and 26. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did the fathers uh, to the false prophets. Keep reading. But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies. Do uh, good to uh, start at, uh, what was that, Luke 26? Start at 24, 25. Luke 6 and 26. Uh, for I say unto you, which hear, blessed ye when men shall hate you. <clears throat> yeah, because we're blessed. Because men do hate us, man. Even women. They say, oh, how's your nine-year-old girls from GMS? Like, what? Call us molesters and rapers, man. You straight slanderers, man. That's hate, man. Because you don't know any of us, man, to say that about us, man. Hey, me and this brother, we got daughters, bro. The fuck we look like doing some wild shit like that? First of all, if we did that shit, we'd be underneath the cell, man. Them niggas in prison hate child molesters, man. They put them niggas to death and beat their ass daily, man. What the fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? But you put that... That, that slander on us, man. But the Lord said, blessed is you. Blessed, read it again, brother. A blessing ye when men shall hate you. So it's a blessing <laughs> when men show that they hate us, man. That's right. Because they hated your house shine first. Yeah, the reason they hate us is because we're, we're shining light on, on, on their sins, man. Yep. You know, like your shine was doing back when he was on the earth, man. You know, people don't like to be called out on their wickedness. 
So they they come up with any slander, you know, to 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 shun people down, to shun the prophets, man. It says, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil, exactly what, what you were saying, you know, and just like they did Yahweh all all his servants, the prophets, are, are going through the same thing, man. <clears throat> and all this controversy with the with Amalek, you know, is going to lead to to that great persecution, man, because you best believe that Esau is going to try to come. With all he's got after the prophets, man. Yep. That's why the scriptures say that that the Lord's gonna lift up his standard, man. Yep. Because we're the only thing, the only individuals that are in between his his uh, you know his uh, enterprise, man. Yep. Because we showing we're showing the truth of, of of the scriptures of who who is who. You know. Yeah, we're we we're, we're the only ones. We're the only ones that fighting against this man and his system via the word right. we're coming up against them speaking the truth yeah everybody else even 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 truthers man they're like they have some common ground that oh if you just let us plant our own crops and blah blah, blah and, and be self-sufficient we'll be good just leave us alone but the men of the lord we don't have no common grounds with esau man and we we just telling you what the lord is gonna do to your kingdom man which is strip it off of your hands. Yeah. It says, <clears throat> and because we say that and, and, and condemn the sins of the people, man, people hate us, especially our, our own, man. Yeah. It's like we giving you the good news and you hate it. And it's just like, nah, we don't want to hear that shit. You know? And then you rather hear the lies that Esau and these other heathen nations give you, man. Yeah. Yeah, because because you, you it corrects your ways, man. This truth it will force you to amend your ways. Or you'll just buck up and rebel against it. You know? It calls out your hypocrisy, man. These other Israelite groups, they hate us the most. GMS, the most hated Israelite camp in the world. All because every time y'all go off, we correct it. We got a job bent and correct something that you, you went off. Whether it was simple or big. The MOTB, the mark of the beast. The vast majority of you, you, you Israelite camps out there, you're not even, you're not pushing it, you're not warning against it, and if you are talking about it, you're talking about it in a false way, a false manner. IUIC says it's the, the, uh, the, the picture of Christ. Then they said it was embargo. Then they said, then they said it was, um, it was sin. <laughs> uh, fucking uh, ISUPK. This nigga said it's the it's sleeping with the white woman. Uh, uh, that, that King Solomon had the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? So here it is. You you say it's everything but what it really is, which is the RFID microchip. And a beat and, and it's set up and it's set up on a B system. Oh, and they, they start micropayments now too. If, if you buy a vehicle, if you get you a Mercedes Benz electric car, you gotta pay micropayments with that shit, man. So you might spend a hundred thousand it costs a hundred thousand. You spend a hundred thousand dollars for it, but you don't get all the trinkets that come with it. So if you want your car to go like eleven degrees because the way that the wheels are, they go like this. So they move and turn a certain way. Well, you, it will prevent you, if you don't pay for the uh, micropayments, you won't be able to do that shit. Or you won't be able to turn your air conditioning on. Or you won't be able to do this or do that. Real talk. They, they want you to pay like uh, $300 a year subscription for, for, for just to turn your wheels at a certain radius, man. To prevent an accident or whatever. Or, 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 or to turn your car at a certain, a certain way. Real yeah. talk. So these different car companies now, this is another reason why they, uh, Biden is pushing for the all electric by 30, 30 by 2030. Yeah. Because these different, like our, um, Tesla already been doing it. They do micro payments where you pay like 3,600, I mean 36,000 for a particular car. Let's say, let's say for uh, uh, a Model X or Y or whatever that shit is. You pay like $84,000 for it, right? Well, it comes with updates throughout the year. Yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta pay for them fucking updates, man. Or yeah. The car already can, it, it comes equipped with the software to do certain stuff. But, but, it's not you, activated but it ain't activated, activated until you, you make the micropayments. <clears throat> These micropayments are going to fall into the new payment system. So like, instead of you owning a car right out, or, or leasing a car right out, what you're going to do is, you're going to make a micropayment for it. You pay enough money for it off your chip for, for an hour or two a day to operate the car. 
All right. And then after that hour is up, the car stopped. It stopped. You got to get you got you got to get the fuck out. You got to get the fuck out. And then you see another dude walking behind you. He opens the car door because he done paid the micro payment for that for the next two hours. Yeah, like they do with the bikes. Yeah, like they do with the bikes and shit and the scooters. <clears throat> Those are micro payments, man. Nobody's gonna own nothing. Nobody owns shit. You just gonna see cars just park randomly somewhere. And then the, the dude, the, the tow truck, gonna come in and move that shit. Yeah. That's how it's starting to go. And these micro payments are gonna be attached to your UBI, Universal Basic Income, which is gonna be attached to your to your RFID chip or your NFC chip. Okay? This this is this is the world we're coming into. They got a system called the blockchain, which is a, a perfect ledger, a near perfect ledger. Where it like like <coughs> in your UBI, you ain't gonna be able to stack that shit. Like a lot of you get these food stamps and they roll over to the next month. You probably get two hundred dollars this month, but you only spend hundred and fifty. Well then you got fifty this to roll into the next month, now you got two fifty. No, it ain't gonna happen like that. You gotta spend that fucking money that month. If you don't spend the money that month, it's gonna disappear. You gonna be fucked up, and then the next month you ain't don't expect to get two thousand because you only spent fourteen fourteen hundred last month. So they mean all you need is fourteen hundred, and that's gonna be the basis. Some people gonna get a little bit more, some people gonna get a little less, man. And it's all gonna operate too on a social credit system, a social credit score. And Jake, you think your credit score bad now? Wait till them wait till them fucking uh social credit system scores come out. Everybody gonna be fucked up, especially if you a Jake. And you ain't gonna be able to finesse the system to get them and write some shit off that's on your block that's on your um your ledger your blockchain ledger nope that shit gonna be there forever man oh. if you ain't good with paying your bills now you ain't gonna be good with paying your bills then how about that and, and even uh, uh remember I, I don't know if you saw it i sent you uh like a uh some instagram photos well basically they're paying people now to ride around the city in new york oh yeah snitch on people yeah, yeah and, that's and, right. and, and, and take pictures of people that are like double parked mm -hmm. or whatever, and they get paid for that shit. So he's someone yeah. is like total control of everything. Yeah, I think man. they said you can make up to a hundred dollars a day. Yeah, just just riding around, snitch, taking the sign. You take the picture of somebody's shit. Yeah. Even if the person got their blinkers on, they about to move. Yeah. If they in a bike lane, you take the picture. They automatically get a ticket. Okay, yeah. And then you get you get a portion of the ticket money that they gotta pay. Gotta pay yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like people gonna start. <laughs> Riding around on their bikes and shit, snitching on people so they can get money. That's how it is, man. Yeah, they, they, Esau, like, because Esau created a, a whole generation of bugs, bro. Mm -hmm. And then he incentivized them now to become basically workers for him. To do, to do the dirty job that nobody wanted to do before. Yeah. Because before, you know, 10, 20 years ago, somebody wasn't going to go out and say, well, you're going to pay me. To snitch on people, to be a, nah, a, fuck that shit. I'd rather be a carpenter, I'd rather yeah. be a selling insurance, a salesman, a, a teacher. But now you have a generation of bum ass fucking people, man, that they don't want to do nothing. Like these motherfuckers just want to be online playing video games, yeah. doing nothing. So, or, or playing with their pussy, yeah, and, and, and making money like that. Yeah, so Esau comes around and tells you, oh, no, you can make money just walk around the city, and if you see somebody park the wrong way, just. Boom, picture, you get paid chilling. And we get you paid. Know? And then they, you, know, you do it like that. And they're going to incentivize that kind of shit. Especially when the social credit system score come out, man. People going to be ratting on you, calling you up like, yo, what's up? And they actually get in a conversation yeah. so they can get you caught up and they can get a, they can get a bonus. Or here go 50 extra credits for you because you you, know, you sold on your brother or your sister. Especially if they're Israelites. Let us know. And then we, <laughs> what's the purpose of taking the chip, man? You think you're going to save your life here? But again, these different groups, they don't speak against this kind of stuff. They they speak lies, man. What you got, brother? No, I was going to get a piece of... Yeah, they, these... these uh, can you get the... Uh, I'll get it while you get your piece of... So these, uh, they feed their own belly, man. You ain't worried about your how about you, how about you. You just worried about your belly, man. And you, you see a lot of these leaders and these false kids... They're fat, man. Like, physically fat, man. You know what I mean? Because these niggas eating good. It says, uh, yep, this is uh, Romans 16 and 17. Starting at 17. Now, I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses. And this is what we do. And offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. So, here it is. We'll correct something that one of these groups to say, right? 
and then we'll correct it, hoping that these guys will see the error of their ways and they may take the video down, their video down and do another one and say, hey, we was wrong. But if not, we're telling the newcomers to this faith, hey, stay away from this group because they ain't got the 100% truth. Okay, and what they're saying is contrary to the doctrine, which is in the scripture, which we learn. It says, and avoid them. For they are such, for they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And that's what IUIC is doing. That's why they, they get up on the microphone and tell you about how to be a good husband to your wife, you know, how to be a good father to your family, talk all this crazy shit about what you need to do in this world to, to, to thrive in this world. And then look, by those fair speeches, they deceive many. Right. And then they also set them up against the true evangelists, the true apostles, which is the, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, starting off with Apostle Elder Tahar. You know, they speak against these men, Apostle Elder Gabar, Apostle Elder Rakar, Apostle Elder Aramla, uh, Bishop Sakharan, and all the rest of the bishops, and all the brother brothers that, that are down. They speak against them. They, they call us the enemy. They call us the bum camp, snow dummies, uh, faith-based Israelites, uh, rapists. Yeah, because once you label somebody a rapist, don't nobody want to be around you, man. But nigga, you ain't got no proof that any of us did no shit like that, and we not doing no shit like that. Unlike your fucking camp, these niggas are turning into demons. I ain't even gonna go there. It ain't even worth it because at the end of the day, you, you're you known for robbing people, man. Why? Because you're only filling your bellies. Look what you did to that brother you called the pocket, man. And then you get the other brother so disparaged and hated that they don't even want to do the work no more. They just start, they just going off. Or they, not, or they just not doing the work at all. So the Lord told us those type of people, it says, uh, you gotta avoid them. You gotta mark them. Uh, scope pay them. You know? So they that are set to serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but their own fellows. Because you gotta understand the difference. And I was thinking that today, man, it's a lot of weird motherfuckers in Israel, man. Why do y'all watch the Shah Mashiach? To the Apostle of the Great Millstone, man. The first go around, man. And there's a lot of crazy dudes that just bug the fuck out, man. You meet the best people in the world in Israel, and you meet the worst people in the world in Israel, man, out here, man. For your obedience, it says, it says, it says, for your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I'm glad, therefore, on your behalf, but yet I will have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. So here it is, Paul is putting this on to those things because, hey, man, you can be so you know, uh, naive that you'll see a guy, you think, oh, he's an Israelite. He got friends going, let me, let me slum. Oh, uh, man, be careful, man, because you don't know who you're dealing with out here, man. That's right. These guys out here, they're <clears throat> set up to go against the, the, the truth, man. They speaking everything else. Yeah, then they're telling you an Israelite, but that ain't enough, man. No one is half the battle, man. You got to be ten toes down and prepared and understand what's going on. Because, because you're an Israelite, you already a marked man and woman. Just from the fact that you call yourself Israelite. IUIC, ISUPK, none of them dudes are gonna be exempt when they roll on the Israelites, man. And guess what? Their leaders are not gonna be standing with you. Them leaders, they're gonna be somewhere else, out, out, protected by their, their Praetorian guard. You know what I'm saying? I don't know saw that ISUPK ISU video. These niggas got the sword as big as this damn tree. Walking around out of smoke. I thought it was a fucking, I thought I was walking Watching a goddamn wrestling match, man. <laughs> These big, burly, black, demonic, jailhouse-looking niggas with big-ass swords coming out like they... Come on, man. And Yohanna telling you to take the jab and the juice. He giving you these conflicted messages. Yeah, white man's a devil. But hey, man, take the juice, man. What? We don't hate white people. God hates white people. You know? And then he walking around like he all hard and shit. He a whole bitch, man. You catch this man by himself, man. This nigga's gonna piss on himself, man. <laughs> Likewise with Nate, man. This nigga's a, a fucking... He's clinging to life. And, but he got all these people around him, especially at the top of him, that protect him and believe this nigga when he's sick. Talking about this nigga is uh, Elijah in the reincarnation. The, talking about he's the most powerful man in the world. What? Uh, you bugging <laughs> out, man. You got all these occultic personalities. So again, you got to be careful. You got to know who you're dealing with in this truth, man. That's right. You got it, brother. Uh, Matthew 7 and verse 15 it says beware of false prophets 
which come to you in sheep's clothing, <clears throat> but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Yeah, and that's what you have. You got to be aware of these false prophets. There's a lot of false prophets. You got dudes out here that just try to make a, 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 a name for themselves, man, and try to enrich themselves, man. Like the scripture says, the goals of the gain of God, man. It's such a point, man. Because you got to be careful. Just because you see somebody with uh, a big ass ribs, and scars, a bunch of bodyguards around them, spiffy clothes, man. Hey, man. Hey, you better watch out. We got to get. Matthew 7 and verse 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Yeah, they come to you with sheep, uh, sheep clothing, but inwardly they're ravening wolves, man. Highlands, they're they seeking to uh, destroy you all for the uh, financial benefit, man. You know? They ain't coming, they, they come in like they're sheep, but in reality they, they really set up to destroy you, man, like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Go ahead. Uh, verse 16. Uh, he shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs from thistles? Mm -hmm. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, mm -hmm. but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And that's what is going to happen in the end. That's right. The, these, them, them, these false Israelite leaders, get uh, uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15. These false Israelite leaders, they're not feeding you with the knowledge and wisdom and understanding to prepare you for what's about to happen. They're not giving you the truth, telling you what to stay away from and what to cling on to. They're not doing that. And the ones that are, are being demonized. That's right. Ostracized, okay? Being turned into the villains, but we're telling you the truth, man. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Jeremiah 3 and verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yeah. Uh, and it shall come to pass uh, when he... That was it, uh, that was it. Read it again. Uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I will give you passage according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right. Um, they're gonna, uh, he's gonna send you pastors that's gonna feed you with knowledge and wisdom and understanding of what? Is it of this world? No, of your how about Shia was shy. The truth. Okay. Get uh Jeremiah 23 and 1. Jeremiah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh speak. I'm trying to find a scripture. Yeah, man, because you know ultimately. Uh, we, we've had uh, false pastors and teachers all throughout our captivity, man. You know? And then ultimately, this last captivity, the Lord was going to bring forth the, the true apostles. You know, the scriptures say he has set up the, the apostles last because uh, he, need, he needs the elect to awaken. Going back, you know, um, to the beginning of the, of the camp, man. We were talking about what? The elect being sealed. You know, and those elect men and women are going to be sealed with the true wisdom knowledge and understanding of the scriptures man but also there was going to be false pastors that were going to do what deceive the the, the two-thirds man yeah and they, they're going to deceive many that's right you know and they're not going to prepare you for for for, the, for what's coming all they're going to do is tell you things that you like to hear and like to see for filthy lucre sake for money sake Right. And that's why you see that, that's why you see certain things like we particularly was jumping on IUIC. We didn't come out here saying we were going to do that. It's the spirit of God that's on them right now. Because these guys are showing that they're not there for the long haul. They ain't out here week in and week out, winter, spring, fall, inclement weather. They're not. They're out here when it's nice or when the opportunity arises for them to show the numbers, man. Or get them brothers to go out there and show show that we, you know, we there, support our brother Kyrie. When Kyrie is a whole Satanist, man. He don't even know you niggas. He don't even thinking about you niggas. Is it? You think he going to stop playing ball and come outside and stand tall with you niggas? Damn, I want to thank y'all for having my back out here, man. Fuck yeah. no, man. You just you just doing that there so that you can get members. Or people going to walk by and say, yo, me, you see all the niggas in the purple, man? Oh, man. He was up here. Just like that dude in Malcolm X. Malcolm X he saw, he saw the, uh, the show of power. Through Malcolm X and those followers at the time, he ran up on Malcolm X and said, "Hey, Mal, 
hey, I want to be a Muslim. He said, I don't know what it is, but I want to be one. He said, I, I ain't never seen no, no nigga talk to, I mean, no colored man talk to a white man like that. And he ended up being one of his followers in the movies till he died and shit. But why did he want to join? Did he want to join because he actually believed in the cause? He understood what was being said? No. He saw the show of power, and that's why he wanted to be down, man. And and then what, what ended up happening? The Nation of Islam is a shadow of what it used to be in, in, the, in the 60s, in the 70s. And it kind of turned out that a lot of them niggas were nothing but niggas was nothing but strong-arm, drug-dealing, murderous niggas, man. You know? And Islam ain't the way either, either way. So, you know, the, you know that shit had to fall. But it's the same thing you're seeing now with the whole Israelite thing, man. You got dudes just popping up with camps. And just talking crazy. We even got cats claiming to follow Great Millstone and, and giving double honors to the apostles and in the same breath cussing Israel, cussing Jake and GMS out, man. What's wrong with you, bro? You see? So you gotta be careful. And it can't be no real vetting process with that IUIC shit. They making niggas change their names legally to Ben Israel, giving you a giving you one of those uh plantation uh Israelite names, you know, Jeff bro. You know, Jethro, Jenkins, Israel. You know what I'm saying? But then when you, when you, but they're not using the name of the Lord. You'll try to beat a dude in the dust because he don't mention Bishop Nate. Man, fuck Bishop Nate, man. And that nigga, I'll be yell, man. I hope I ever see this nigga in real life. I'm about to tell you, I am not running for no nigga that wear no glasses, bro. Or that nigga that don't got glasses. I've done, my running days are over, buddy. I'm going to see it through. If I win, I win, lose, or draw, I'm going to see it through. But nigga, fuck you and him. Because y'all going off, man. And you disrespect our apostles and our elders. And here these, these men do nothing but put their life on the line daily, man. Daily, bro. Nate do a video about on Tuesday, maybe a Friday. And it's just an open square, man. Yeah, and his crib chilling. Man, the apostles and elders out there in cold weather. There was brick out there in New York City today, man. They, all, the, all the apostles got gloves on, hats. I don't think they had, they had their hoods on. Cause it was cold out there, man. Big puffy coats, man. Yeah. They out there in the heat, sick. Hey, we're kind of under the weather, man. You know? And we learn to do this from what our apostles and our elders, man. If they can do it, we can do it. We and hey, we can't even really cry or complain. They older than us, man. <laughs> they older than us, been in the truth way longer than we alive. In some cases, man. You know? I got a precept. This is Zechariah 13 and 4. And it shall come to pass in that day that the prophet shall be ashamed every one of his vision. When he hath prophesied, neither shall they, they wear a rough garments to deceive. But he shall say, I am no prophet. I am a husbandman. For man taught me to keep cattle from my youth. And one shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thine hands? Then he shall answer those which I was wounded in the house of my friend. Right? Because it's going to come a time where these, starting off with these leaders, these false leaders, these un, unschooled, unlearned leaders, they're going to take off these, the, 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 the clothes of a prophet, and they're going to try to melt back into the population. But guess what? Esau going to say, well, what are all these videos that you got? He's like, oh, no, no. That was something I was, no, I, 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 that ain't me. I, I was taught to do this from my youth, man. But that was something I was with when I was, you know, I was young and dumb. But I don't believe in that no more. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Uh, second under uh, 16 and 7. Start at 7. That's what happened to you, man. They ain't gonna be, they ain't gonna be caring. They ain't not gonna differentiate. Oh, he's part of the IUIC. He's cool, man. He, he's with, he got the 503, 501 C3. Well, oh, he's cool with us, man. We're gonna let them slide. Fuck no. You're gonna be grabbed, you're gonna be gathered up right along with everybody else that, that believe that they're Israelites, man. And we and our apostles now are telling us this, man. This is gonna happen. But when it does happen, here's the caveat, here's the land bet. Yahweh Shemel Shah is gonna what? Lift up a standard. And they're gonna fear the name of Yahweh Shemel Shah from the west to the east. From the east to the west. They're gonna fear him. He right. he's gonna endow his men with spiritual powers, man. Are these other groups telling you about that? Hell no, man. Yeah, yeah, fucking um one body and nobody. Claiming that they one body and Yahweh they not. Talking about Yahweh Shah didn't do any miracles. He was doing witchcraft. Alexander the Great was a, a, a Jake. No, man, these dudes are going off, man. See, these guys are trying to get you away from the truth. 
They don't want you to believe in spiritual power. They don't want you to believe in the name of your how about you shot. They don't want you to believe in the truth of the Bible, man. They want you to believe in the shit that they say. So they can have you come follow them. You know? And then they think you're gonna get all uh, only a simple man will get uh, uh will get all giddy minded because you see thousands of niggas outside. You know what I'm saying? You just a follower, homie. Go ahead, bro. Second address sixteen and verse seventy. It says, for there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Yeah, because there's going Esau going to come down on everybody that's an Israelite. And don't think for once that, hey, if you even search Israelite, guess what? You on the marker, man. Okay. Read it again. Second Andrew 16 and 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. They shall be like madmen sparing none. Yeah, they're not going to care. They're not going to be like, oh, you with IUIC, or you just with GMS, or you... They don't care what group you claim you with, man. If you claim you fear the name of the Lord, they're going to roll, man. That's right. Go ahead. But and they're not, they're not going to spare none. They're not going to say, well, let him go. He's with IUIC. He's one of us. No. Because if you call yourself an Israelite, you, according to them, you have the potential to be converted to the truth. And again, knowing, knowing you're Israelite is half the battle. Now you got to fight the good fight. You got to endure. You got to put your life up, a live, make your life a living sacrifice. And our apostles and our elders, our leaders, the true leaders of Israel, they showing us by example. They're living examples. Hey, brother, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is how you're supposed to exercise. This is how you're supposed to call on the name of your house by shot. Hey, brother, this is how you're supposed to break the scripture down. Wait a minute. You went off. Wait a minute, brother. Take that video down. Here's the correct one. Now, here's the correct breakdown. Now do a, do, a, do a new video. Explain where you went off. Explain where the correction is at. Bam, too easy. Hey, brother, you got to go out all year long, man. Hey, brother, you got to do the work. You got to find a way to do the work. You got to, hey, you got a cell phone. Hey, you do the work, brother. Okay, you got to do a certain amount of videos a week, brother. And they're not just telling us to do it. They're doing it themselves. Hey, brother, you got to be a brother to your brother, man. Okay, you got to show charity. Whether that be financial, whether that be physically, whether that be a, a, a spiritual boost. Hey, brother, you got to contact one another. You got to talk with one another, yo. You got to share information. You see, we do all these things because they do it and they show us how to do it, man. And they don't exalt themselves either. So neither do we. We're just servants, man. We sit down here to do a job. When you go do your job, you do your job, man. You do your damn job. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Yeah, you get if you get paid on the end of the week, you get paid, man. If you don't, you don't. But you did your job. Go, brother. They shall be like man men sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yep. <clears throat> For they shall waste and take away their goods. And cast them out of their houses. Yeah, they're gonna be grabbing. You think when they grab people up out of their houses, they're gonna be you, they're trying to hear your side of the story? No. Once they come, we already know. They know everything. Right. Ain't no reason to say shit. Hey, like Elder um, Elder Kazak from Mississippi said a long time ago. He did a video. He was like, "Look, even when they come get us, brother, you don't be fighting the police, trying to fight them." Nah. What did Yahweh Shai do? He was quiet, man. He said, "He said, hey, you looking for me? I'm him. I'm I'm the one that you're looking for." He ain't, throw, he ain't throw the apostles underneath the bus. Hey, man, I got Peter with me, too, man. He was with me, too, man. Wait a minute, Thomas and them, they was there. James and, and John and James and Jude, what's up with them, man? No. He he pushed them back with the spirit, and they fell. They all fell back. And he, and he said, like, who you wearing for, man? We're here for you. I was shy uh, of Nerys, the one that was preaching in the temple. I'm him. And he went with them. He didn't, he didn't fight. He didn't, kick, he didn't kick Peter in the balls. I mean, uh... Not Peter, the uh, um, or the dude that got his ear chopped off, the centurion. He didn't kick him in the balls and punch him in the face, and then got rushed through the ground. Get on the ground, get on the ground. No man. Hey Peter pulled his sword out and he cut that man's ear off. Yeah, I was trying to pick his ear up and healed him. And told Peter to put his weapon up, man. Oh whoa, 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 what you doing, man? You know what I'm saying? You can't stop prophecy, man. Hey, this be whatever happens to us in that moment, it was supposed to happen for our faith, man. Even if we gotta give up our lives, man. 
which some of us going to have to do that, that's okay. That's for our faith. Yeah, how about you know, going to give us the spirit and the strength to, to, to overcome that? Okay? Go ahead, brother. Um, it says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they, they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold is tried in the fire. Because the elect will be tried in that fire and will come through it, will be, be brought through it. Right. Then you're going to know who the Lord was dealing with, man. Which we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh and faith that the Lord is dealing with the apostles and elders of the great millstone and, and all the brothers on them, including us. We're not doing this, oh, we're trying to be men. No, it's the truth, brother. It's obvious, man. We, we all week, brother, I, I listen to the apostles and elders more than I listen to anything. I listen to the brothers. More than I listen to anything. I don't even listen to music like that. I don't watch TV like that. I'm on my I'm on the computer. YouTube, yeah. On YouTube, I go on, I'm driving to work. I ain't listen to uh, you know, 98.8, whatever them <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I listen to the apostles and the elders and the brothers on down, week in and week out, daily, bro. While I'm working, while I'm at the job, buffing them floors, man, at Buffin Brothers. Guess what? I'm listening to the brothers, man. Well, if I ain't listen to the brothers, I'm calling brothers, we talking. Spiritual conversation, you know. So we we saying plugged in. We plugged out of the major. I ain't saying that Jake don't listen to music and watch movies and stuff. We do that, but that kind of shit don't consume my time. It don't consume my life. This truth consumes our life, man. We that again. Second Andrew sixteen and verse seventy two or uh, seventy three. Then shall they be known. Who am I chosen? And they shall be tried as gold is tried in the fire. Yeah, and when then you're going to know. Because those guys that aren't truly set up by the Lord, they're not going to be brought through the fire and protected in that day. Keep right. reading. Verse 74. Hear, O my beloved, saith the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Yeah, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Is IUIC, ISUPK, GLCC, are they warning you about these things? No, they're not. Hey, Nate said a couple years ago, it's June. Ain't no microchip. It's June. Now the microchip is being pushed. Heavy. <laughs> All these different nations moving towards a digital currency. This uh, The central banks are moving to central, uh, uh, what is it, CBDC, central bank digital currencies. And how do you think they're going to be applied, man? They, oh, everybody get a, uh, everybody get a, uh, a, 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 um, a bank card? Nah, man. They talking about that chip, man. Right. Even even President Joe Biden, then he was Senator Joe Biden for the state of Delaware, told uh, Superior Court Judge, the head judge, uh, um, Justice Roberts, he will he will rule. Can a person be implanted with a microchip tag? Mark my words, you will rule on this. Mark my words. That's what he said. Quote and unquote. Yep. He said that. So they going Can it be used to track a person? You will rule on this. Mark my words. Why did he just randomly say that? You know what I'm saying? That whole four, seven hours this nigga was sitting there being confirmed. He just bought, he just told him exactly what he gonna confirm him. What he gonna have to judge on, man. That's right. And why? Because people gonna feel like it's uh unconstitutional to force somebody to get a chip. They're gonna be tracked and traced. Because and how are you gonna be tracked? Not just by the beat, like a cat and a dog, but because by your by your purchasing power. Uh, real quick, before you read, finish that, get uh, Revelation 13 and, and 16. I'll give a shot. Revelation 13 and verse 16 says, And he causes all, both small and great, rich and, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Yeah, so if you don't got that chip, you don't got that mark, that, that the paradigma, that corrects and you, guess what? You're not going to be able to buy and sell. And how are you going to be tracked and traced? Through your purchasing, through your buying and selling, through the chip. And that's, 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 that's the ultimate form of slavery. Here it is, they're giving you a UBI, Universal Basic Income. They're claiming that this is the basic income that people in your tax bracket are all getting, right? 
So now you gotta go out, you gotta slave, you gotta do the job, you gotta go to work. But now you a slave to this man every month, hoping to get paid. You know what I'm saying? You gotta spend the way he say you can spend. Where you can, where he can say you can spend that. See, right now you get a check, and you can just save the money. You can pay some bills. You can spend it on whatever you want. You want to buy Michael Jordans. You can buy all the Jordans in your heart and take. With the UBI, you ain't gonna be able to do that, man. You like the barbecue? You want to buy four or five thousand pork chops and bread and shit? Pork ribs? Guess what? You ain't gonna be able to do that with the UBI. You only, hey, you only get this amount of fake plant-based meat, right? Yeah, the NBA gives some food to lab yeah, and you think they ain't turned them fucking 3D printers on? They got them all fake right now, yo. They got them the just turned the fuck up. Yo. Right? Because they already approved it. And it don't, it don't take much for the FDA to approve any goddamn thing. They don't care if it's going to kill you or nothing. They don't care if it's going to keep you alive or nothing. They're going to make it infinite or they're going to whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? How many times? Okay, here you go. And they pay them, they pay them FDA leaders off, man. Oh, hell. They pay them off, big time. Okay? So that's what's about to happen, man. All, all this year, they done, they blew up all these different uh, plant, uh, food plants, and they ain't talking about not one on the news. Not one. But it was happening. The alternative news pushing it out there. Right? What well, we got? Less than, we less than a month into the new year? This year went by like this. They gonna step on a pedal in 2023. I believe that, man. Oh, yeah. They're going to put the pedal to the metal for this agenda because they got to get it out. And they tired of talking about it. And some of their top rulers are uh, supposedly dropping dead. Evelyn de Rothschild is, is out of here. David Rockefeller died last year. Nathan, Rock, Nathan Rothschild died last year at 57 years old. And they got to get this thing rolling, man. They, these people want to see this shit come to fruition. If they truly did. The, that queen, the so-called queen, she dropped dead. They killed PNB Rock. They killed DMX. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 man. People are dropping dead. Because they trying to get this thing off the ground, man. They try to play a game with you, man. And that, that whole uh, that whole 19, two years ago, that was just number to touch my. You see how fast that went by, too, brother? Oh, yeah. That shit happened in 2019, the beginning of 2020, the end of the 2019, the beginning of 2020, the top of 2020. And it went all through 2020 and 2021. Shit is real, man. <clears throat> so ain't nobody going to buy or sell. So again, that's going back until you tracking and tracing through your purchasing power. And they're already doing it technically through your your, uh, your Apple Pays, your Google Pays, your, your Cash App, your Zelle, your credit cards. That's why all these different advertisements come up. And you start talking about certain things. Next thing you know, you on Instagram, they go up. Here go, a, here go an ad for uh, new shoes, man. Big booty bitches on OnlyFans. I don't fucking know. Oh. Real talk, man. You start seeing a lot of that shit, man. <clears throat> yeah, like all those credit cards, they give you incentives like points and cashback and all that shit. So that you could use them to get those rewards or whatever. But that's how they keep a perfect ledger of everything you do, man. Exactly, and man. Where you go, where you spend your money at. How much you're spending, how much you're paying back. All these just all these different uh computer algorithms that they created via Google, they selling your information. That's why they that's why they get you to put certain information in so they can sell it. Oh you are, you, you, you start talking about Adidas <laughs> shell top shoes, right? They done sold just shit to some third party people in Adidas. Now all you're hearing is Adidas. You got sweatsuits and shit. Fuck, I ain't want that. You ain't got no money to buy shit, but it's already being because they listen to your conversation. You got Apple Watch, Smart Pay, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Samsung Watches. You know? You got it, brother. Uh, back in uh, <clears throat> Second Andrew 16 and verse 74, here, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. Yeah, so we know that these things, the day of trouble is coming, Jacob trouble is coming, but we also have hope and pray that Yahweh Shema Shah will save us, man, because he said he was going to do it. Go ahead. 
not afraid, now there's doubt. Yeah, don't be afraid. You see all this shit happening, the economy collapsing, shit is going haywire out here. Don't think, don't doubt the Lord's power because he said he was going to do it. Right. And we were doing it before it all popped off, man. Go ahead, brother. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, yes. saith the Lord. He's the power of them that keep his precepts and commandments, man. So these Christian ch churches telling you that you, uh, the, the law is done away with, they lying to you, man. The Lord ain't gonna protect you if you just do what the fuck you wanna do, living in your iniquity. It's a lot of you for the harsh word, but the Lord is not gonna protect you if you're just living in your iniquity and sin. Okay? You have to be, you have to be cognizant of these things, man. He said, but he's a God with the power and a protector of them that keep his what? His commandments and precepts, man. Go ahead. It says, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. You don't let your sins weigh you down. Yeah, you be saying we did this stuff in this body. We did a whole bunch of witness, man. But we repent it from it. You repent it from it. Don't let Satan use it. Give you the mind tricks. And you think like, oh man, you, you did this, man. You worse than anybody. No. Lord said, any any man that's sin can be saved except this, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And we have not done that. Esau had. But we haven't done that. So no matter what kind of lifestyle or death style you was living in the world, when you come to the Yahweh Shai, guess what? You are a new creature. You are a new man. And you are a new woman. And can't nobody, not Satan, not your family members, not Esau, Hold any of that shit over your head because your how about you shy say he have forgiven you for that, man. So don't let your sins weigh you down. Neither let your what? Iniquities lift themselves. Let your iniquities lift themselves up. Don't let the shit that you the sin upon sin lift themselves up in your in your sight and, and think that it's holding against you. No, because it's not. Okay? The Lord's gonna protect us because he said so. Right. And so with that, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, 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 Lord willing, we'll see you next week. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to the left. Shalom.